Hello, welcome back to Blast Vintage Toys. Uh, yes, we've got a Doctor Who review today. Doctor Who review. These are from Collector Online. I've I've reviewed a few of these before. Um, these have been sat on the shelf for my B&M. I did actually buy, as you can see, the TARDIS for uh, the Secret Santa for Dave over at DTM Collectibles. Um, so I've, I picked one up for myself. I've actually picked two up. Because they were at a really good price. There was the last two on the shelves. And um, they did have a lot of these sets. The three sets and the TARDISes. And the, the other sets. I missed out the Daleks. I, I would like to get the Daleks. But that's all, all there was left now. Uh, they, they put them on shelves just before Christmas. And um, I think they had them at £20 at the time. Which... I remember getting these sets, the sets I had before, for £10. So, um, yes, that's the reason why I didn't buy it. And this is, there is another, another another set with Tom Baker in it. It looks nothing like Tom Baker. The set I have with Tom Baker in it looks brilliant. And it's supposed to be around, It's supposed to be the same set. It's supposed to be like an update of the same set. But anyway, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go to that later. So we've got the two Romanas. And, of course, Sarah Jane. Um, I've always wanted a Sarah Jane figure. Uh, I've got. I've probably. I'll put on my Tom Baker. I think. Obviously, they've all got. They all go Tom Baker, don't they? But uh, let's get it open. Again, I like these boxes. It's, it's limited edition. Mm, not sure about limited edition, but uh, yeah. So once these are bought, they won't be re-released. They might be re-released in a few years' time, as I said, with the, the old boxes that the character did. They've just repackaged them. Um, but but the the, mold, the the sculpt of Tom Baker, I should have got it, actually, just to uh, do a comparison to the Tom Baker that I've got. But um, I might do all that. But these were reduced, really. A real lot. More to what I paid for the last lot. So I'm going to open it at the bottom. You always open at the bottom because you've got the still got the tape attached at the top. You've got the three characters at the back telling you all they are. Sergeant so Smith, Romana one, and Romana two. As a she's she's a time lord. I was I was a time lord. So she regenerated, which is a good idea. I was a good idea. I don't think I'll do it again. So let's get Sarah Jane out first. As I said before, if you've not seen my review of the Doctor Who figures before, my biggest bugbear with these is... I've got the little, little rubber bands on them. The biggest bugbear I have with these is the no accessories. Not one accessory, even though their hands... They look like they may or will hold an accessory. But, um, <laughs> that's by the by. I'm not going to moan about that much, much. Uh, it just gets me with the doctor figures that you don't, I don't know. I'm going to open that in the, my next review. And again, as you can see in his hand, it looks like he could be holding a Sonic screwdriver. And to be look at it, there's not one in there. But we'll get to that in that review, and we'll moan about it a bit more. Um, the joints, well, that that arm's lo a bit loose, and that's quite stiff. So they they've got a bit of weight to them. Again, the sculpt of Sarah Jane is really good, actually. I'm really impressed by that. Very, very impressed by that. And uh, the jacket is, uh, is, is, I wonder if it could come off. Actually, I'm not going to pull it off because it's probably glued down. But it does look like it could, it could come off, which is pretty good. Um, she's all one colour, really, basically, apart from the boots. So it's like a bit like of an, an old, uh, Mr. Slayer figure, really. But yeah, she's in all in brown. Which she's got brown hair, brown jacket, brown trousers, and grey boots. So the only colour difference really is the skin colour. So 
that's a bit disappointing. Again, you've got the thigh. Why, why you've got a thigh? You don't need too much articulation in s such small figures, I don't think. But uh, she'll stand up, I think. Yeah, there you go. She stands up. So let's look at Romana 1, which I don't remember a lot about, actually. I don't know why I don't remember a lot about her, but... Uh, Maybe it was just a bit of a point where I wasn't watching. I think I used to, I used to watch it every week back in the seventies and the eighties. So we're going to look at Romana one. Yeah, very loose legs. Very. Look at that. That's not good at all. But we have do have colour in this one. Uh, we've got a like a, a watch. That's uh, pretty good. So you've got detailing again. The jacket is is not moulded onto the body, so you could probably get that off. Is it, is it a jacket? Is it a dress? I don't know. I don't know. The the arms a lot skinnier than. Probably because she's got a coat on, but yeah, the differences are pretty good. The detailing is alright on them. And the sculpt, for what I remember of the first Romana, looks pretty good to me. And with the hair, it does it does move pretty good. The hair's pretty not, not, good, not bad, actually. I like that. So yeah, it's just the, the, yeah. I'm not so happy about the looseness of the limbs, but uh, again, you've really just got two colours on you. You've got your red and your black, so you're limited again with the colours. But uh, let's see, she stands with her wobbly legs, having a bit of trouble. Yeah, I've been a bit of trouble there, but she does stand. So, remind, I remember this one because uh, I may have had a bit of a crush on it. Even though, at that young age, I didn't know why, probably. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I was probably coming into that age where uh, I was noticing the ladies a bit more. So as you know, I've got a lady shelf, but these will not be going on the lady shelf. They'll be going on the uh, the Doctor Who shelf, which is above my mantelpiece. Um, you might have seen it in my... Oh, look at that. That's not good. That's... Uh, that looks like it could fall off at any time. That's very loose. I could work it out, actually, but I'm not going to... I'm going to try. Uh, yeah, if you've seen my videos of my room tour, you'll see all my Doctor Who figures on my uh, but on my mantelpiece, really. My Doctor Who mantelpiece. So again, yeah, the, the articulation is not brilliant. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, the wrists still move around, that's good. But again, you've got the red. You've got a bit more colour in this one. You got the darker red with the gloves. Again, the coat opens up, and she's a bit more like a time lord, dressed a bit more like a time lord there. So that's pretty cool. A lot of detailing in in the shirt and the tank top, and then the coat. So she looks a lot more like a time lord in uh, in that coat and the, the top. So it looks like she's got uh, job first on with riding boats. Might be the look they've been going for. It's two little marks. I don't know what those are for. That's very strange. But yeah, detailed detailing with the belt on the on the coat's pretty good, and the hair is okay. It's a bit of hmm, bit of wishy washy browny blondie there. 
which I, th I think they might have been going for. But that face, look at that face. A little pouty grin. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, also, Sailor Journey is one of my favourite characters in Doctor Who of all time. But this, I think, in this pack, this is my favourite, definitely my favourite figure. So, there you go. Oh, hang on. Is one leg shorter than the other there? That looks like it, doesn't it? Because that, that's leaning over. She's doing a bit of a Luke Skywalker off there. But she stands up. She stands up. That's pretty cool. So there you go. That's um, my review of the three ladies, the three companions from the third and fourth Doctor. Mostly Tom Baker, obviously, but... Uh, Yeah, I really, I really like those. I'm glad, I'm glad that I waited and got them at a price point that was that was better than they was trying to sell at the, at the beginning. But I would, would be interested to see what retail price they are from Character Toys. And if Character Toys wants to get in touch, I've been trying to get in touch with them. Um, I would like to find out what more is coming i've got the i follow them their youtube channel so i know what's coming out but i'd like to see more of these because they have got an exclusive bm has got an exclusive license to sell the doctor who figures from character toys and they don't utilize it they, they yes they got a lot of these figures in for the new wave but you don't see them often enough the 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 bought these in and once they're gone there's no more they don't restock, unfortunately. But having said that, character toys put these waves out, and then if you don't buy them, they've gone. So that's why they're limited. So once once the once they've, they've gone, they've gone. So that's why the it's it's good to buy them when you can. But I wish that there was another wave coming out so they could restock. If you know what I mean. Anyway. That's uh, for kind of character toys and B&M to sort out. So, again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, I love this series, and I will. I won't be overpaying for it. You know me. <laughs> I don't overpay for anything unless I really, really want it. But um, until the next time, until the next video, I will be reviewing the TARDIS next. So please press that bell. Please. Subscribe if you like my content and until the next video May the toys be with you